mighty Sigma, savior of the Empire, give me strength. For though I dedicated my life to eradicating it, it feeds, it grows, devouring all. There must be a final answer to halt its advance. But the tide of war seems endless. The brutal, unthinking bloodlust of the Greenskins. The twisted ambitions of the undead. Dwarven kingdoms stand with us. Truly, what hope is it? Against countless horrors that cannot be named, let alone fought by mortal means. is unstoppable. I am unstoppable. I see it now. The beast that will devour the world. of war never cease. For the old world lies in great peril. nations. ancestral capital, for the demented Rachnik Spider Claw leads an attack on Altdorf's walls. My charge is Karl Franz, the true wielder of Gal Maraz. But as he fights to secure his status as emperor, 
Will his reign strengthen the nation? Or lead it to ruin? The greenskin threat is extinguished, sire. Yet the fight to secure your rule has only just begun. The Empire is beset by civil war once more. Secessionists hostile to your election as Emperor are trying to form a breakaway province to the south. Advance, crush them, and bring the lands back to your sovereign rule. To the north, Boris Todbringer of Middenheim, a bitter rival in the recent election, is openly hostile. A clash with Todbringer and the wolves of Middenland may well be unavoidable if you wish to unify the Empire. Plan for this eventuality. The Empire has ever been besieged by foes, but you are a Prince of Altdorf. Greatness runs in your very blood. Make the Heldenhammer proud! Well, hello there! Tonight, we are going to find out how many modifications this game can take. We have assembled around 120 mods, mainly focused around SFO Grimhammer and a lot of quality of life updates. We are going to play Reichland, or the Empire, under the leadership of Karl Franz. And we will find out if he can successfully defeat the Orcs and Chaos once again. We have so many mods, it's uh, hard to start somewhere. Well, at first... We already know the story of the electors. We can earn prestige and we need imperial authority to ensure that our dear neighbors do not rebel against us and this is about it. Who wishes the red kiss? Seems we have a Genevieve Diordon. I'm very bad at French, I apologize. Genevieve is a female vampire of the Lamian bloodline, considered, even if grudgingly in some circles, heroine of the Empire. She became the lover, companion and later wife of the actor, poet and playwright Detlef Zirk. Mm -hmm. She can scout, boost our income, discover undercities. It's called a unit, a unit, not units. Wound, hero, steel technology is not very useful <clears throat> on our campaign map. We are going to use her in Karl Franz's army. It seems that she is a vampire. I like it. She can suck out all of their blood if she's willing. And our mission is to defeat the Empire Secessionists. Okay. <clears throat> what there do you we require? Have Luton Hus. Known by others as the Prophet of Sigma, okay, he is a legendary and zealously pious warrior priest of the cult of Sigma that has traveled the length and breadth of the Empire, preaching against corruption and rousing the faithful to seek the will of the Holy Sigma. Okay? Yes, we are my going son. to place both of so them in the Kalfran's army. <clears throat> ay, ay, ay. 50,000. Oh boy. 
one modification that uh, I stumbled across had some quality of life updates to make the end game easier. The campaign difficulty is on very hard. Our battle difficulty is on medium. Once upon a time I was playing a lot on legendary and very hard. But I cannot recommend legendary because you cannot pause and you cannot enjoy a battle. And battles on very hard are a bit ridiculous because the AI is not good. It, <laughs> it's not playing well. It's... <laughs> It just gets so many buffs, so many cheats, that it just uh, uh, outsmarts you by pure strength. We're not going to do that, we're going to play fair. Um, our units will be as exactly as strong as the AIs on the battle map. On the campaign map we are going to feed them some cheats, we are going to play on very hard, so it will not be too easy. Even though we will need to be very careful. I found a very, very big events mod, which will probably yes, son of Sigma. create a lot of full stack armies somewhere around, somewhere inside our empire, outside. We're going to see that. At first, we I are am going Prince to and take Emperor care of the Empire Secessionists. Let's go! Let us forge our faith. Us. The fiery demagogue, scourge of the unfaithful, story of corruption, and grand soulfire. I really like Warhammer because it lost. Have no boundaries. We are going to train him. We need experience. A time army. to heal. We also have ah yes, we have a modification that allows us to upgrade units. That's something that I'm missing from Rome. I I don't like that. I I like upgrading units in Rome too. It was easy, and um, Warhammer doesn't allow you that for reasons that I do not know. So we got that. So we can even upgrade these petty little pikemen into Eldritch Guard. Of course we have to ensure that this um, won't bother the balance because if I now upgrade all those little pikemen to extraordinary regiments of renown, we are going to trash these infidels very very quickly. So we now have assembled. I army. command here. We are going to research something. We don't need industry. We don't have any industry. We don't have any war machines, and we have very little missile troops. We have strong cavalry. We have two Reichsguard. But we need to develop our. Cities. So we are going. Oh, 10 rounds. Oh boy. We are going to develop this so we can get a little bit more growth and have more public order, which is extremely important. I will probably go in the late game for a lot of barracks and walls in every city because I am uncertain what these events will create. And I don't like cities being lost in the midst of a battle, of a war, when my armies are outside my own territory. Summon the Elector Counts! Well, Helmut Ludendorff, we could crush you in auto battle, but we are not going to do that. That's, well, ridiculous. What is interesting is that I found a mod called AI General. It also takes Rome 2 again and <laughs> implements a feature that Rome 2 had and that is to give the units to the AI. So the AI can use the units to fight a battle. It's usually a bad idea because the AI is bad. Of course it's bad, it's the AI. Creative Assembly has created a lot of things, but good AI is not one of it. 
And we are going to face some pikemen, some crossbowmen, some swordsmen. And Ludendorff. Ludendorff, I apologize. The battle will be won, of course, rather quickly. Still, we are going to try a campaign where almost all of our battles will be fought by the AI. It is certainly possible that I will interfere and sometimes use either the cavalry or heroes or very strong singular troops to ensure that the AI is not destroying all our troops for nothing. But we will give the enemy AI the chance to win a long-term war against us by having the same chances on the battlefield as on the campaign map. And if I remember correctly, we need to press shift and F, oh yes, F9. And now our units are under AI control. I like that very much. We are going to start deployment. Before we start the battle, there is something that you have probably noticed, maybe. This game looks good. A little bit better than usual, and uh, that is because we have a sweet FX mod, a graphics mod, a reshade installed upon uh, Warhammer. There are a lot of reshades, and um, I tried to find one that is a little bit darker, a little bit more realistic. We can see the difference, it's just one button, so you can understand the difference. Um, the units now look a little bit off. It's, <laughs> it's vanilla. And our units look fierce and dangerous. It's just... I played with it a little bit. Tried to find the right balance between brightness and um, battle brightness. The problem is it looks much better if allow the brightness, but that will eventually lead to a very dark UI. And it is not very nice for our experience if I constantly switch in the campaign map to vanilla graphics. I don't like that. I doubt that you do. So um, the difference is not that huge, but still, it is certainly noticeable. And now we are going to start the battle. The AI is taking control, obviously marching forward. We outnumber them, so if the AI is clever, they will just round the cavalry and come in from behind and just crush their resistance. And they are just going to fight for them. Also we have a very heavy graphics mod for all those type of spots. Especially musketeers or cannons, now the residue. It looks best. It's super heavy on the graphics card. I wouldn't suggest that you do, because the computer will burn. Okay. The AI has successfully kept them from the rear. Destroying humans. Change formation! We might take a look at Carl Franz if we are there. You Get them! The Emperor himself. 
chosen one. We serve the Emperor! And the battle is drawn. Naro Vampire Walking. To war! Oh, she's extremely fast. I'm pretty sure she doesn't need a mount. Bleed them! She's more than capable of. Von Karstein's are the true emperors! Oh, Death to the living! Vampire! General. For Isabella! 90 armor. For women. Must end in armor. That's I'm not sure if I'm a woman in dress can have 90 armor. I'm not sure. Death to the living! Oh boy, he's a little bit strong. Now! It seems that one mod is conflicting with another. I'm pretty sure these numbers are not about. Ready for battle! Mm. Ready for war! Okay, so Karl Franz is obviously overpowered. Get them! Now, we could start Bring it down. trying to remove this conflict. Or we could just we grant the Emperor the strength to destroy the chaos creatures himself. Get them. I mean, he's chosen of Sigma, obviously. We could, we could say that a divine wow. spirit is Get guiding them. him and enhancing him physically to ultimate powers Rah! beyond that of a dread saurian. <sighs> I'm almost convinced he's the emperor after yes, all. One is overpowered, certainly the other. Ready to smite. And he is in now. league with the prophet of Sigma. Maybe he's buffing him. Maybe, maybe, ah. maybe this is not a buff. Maybe this is a feature of the box. I didn't read about it. I'm surprised a little bit, but no, I'm Prepare fine. for combat. And the last one goes. What's bothering me a little bit is that the battlefield is in Warhammer. I'm pretty sure they've gotten smaller. I like huge battles and Warhammer open battlefield maps such as small can take six or seven units, place them in a row, stretch them as thinly as possible and you can cross from the west to the east. That's, that's not very huge. It's a shame. And we get one frame per second. In loading screen, that's almost perfect. That's exactly how it should be. Not wasting any processing power. It's been a long time. So many Total Wars ahead. So badly optimized engines running on no dual core, <laughs> even a single core. So many bugs. Now we have Warhammer. It's, it's not perfect. It's not a third age total war thing. But it's the best we got. If you like fantasy, if you like total war, this is the game for you. Vanilla is good. It can be better with mods, but if you take too many mods, you might experience in this series what happens. Mm -hmm.